Upgrading your interior speakers is key to any great car stereo system. Now price can range from $20 up to several thousand dollars. But in this video, we'll be taking a look at our top five, six and a half coax speakers under $99. This lineup includes speakers from Alpine, Kicker, Powerbase, JBL, and Memphis Car Audio. So if you're in the market for some good speakers without breaking the bank, then stay with us. What's up, my name is Josh, I'm with Breakers Stereo. Now, all the speakers under review will work whether you're running an amplifier or not, but you won't be able to reach their full potential unless you power them up with an amplifier. Now, as we review these speakers, we'll go over some key features, the specs, and finally we'll head to the display room and fire these things off. We'll measure how loud they will play without distortion using this simple dB meter both with an amplifier and off the power of the head unit. Now, as we listen to these individually, I'll give you a description of how the speakers sound. Now, all these speakers can be purchased on our website. We'll leave links in the description below that'll take you to each product page. Let's start off with Alpine's S-S65s. Now, these are a two-way speaker and handle up to 80 watts RMS and 240 watts max. Now, the sensitivity is 88 dB. Okay, it's time for a breaker's breakdown so I can break down sensitivity. Sensitivity is rated in decibels, abbreviated dB, and that measurement is taken from the speaker at one watt at one meter. Okay, so let's take this Alpine speaker as an example. Now this speaker measures 88 decibels on a meter when one watt was ran through it on a device that was placed one meter away. Now, if you're asking why that's important, I'm about to answer that question right now. Now that measures the ability for the speaker to produce sound. Now 88 decibels is considered average sensitivity. Above this is more efficient and less is less efficient. And in this case, more is not necessarily better. There's a balance that's important to have because of bass. For every three dB gain of efficiency, you lose one octave of bass. So typically, higher efficient speakers will result in decreased bass response. But one would argue that if you're running subs, that's not that big of a deal. Okay, that's all we're gonna get into today around sensitivity, so let's get back to the original subject. Frequency response on this Alpine speaker is between 70 hertz and 22K. These are four ohm speakers. These do not come with grills and all other speakers under review do. Not too important if you're installing them behind factory panels, but they do come with these speaker adapters, making installation easier in certain vehicles. As far as construction, the cone is made of carbon fiber enforced plastic, which is very lightweight, resulting in good response, but rigid enough against cone warp, which can happen if the cone is too flimsy. They also have Alpine's patent HAMR design, which is a rib surround that increases excursion while maintaining accuracy. This has a one inch silk dome tweeter, which results in a smooth, more pleasant frequency response and also reduces listening fatigue. The tweeter swivels slightly to point in the direction of the listener, but it does protrude beyond the overall speaker slightly, although we haven't ran into any issues when installing them. Also, these speakers come with caps for the tweeter and coils for the mid driver. The coil value produces a low pass filter at 2000 Hertz at a 6 dB slope. Now, most coax speakers only have caps for the tweeters and coils for mids are normally only seen on component speakers. Besides that, Alpine uses several of their patent designs and manufacturing processes to make this a very unique speaker, especially at the price point, which is $99. Next, Kicker's CSC67. These are two-way speakers, power handling 100 watts RMS, 300 watts peak. Sensitivity, 90 dB. Frequency response is 40 Hertz up to 20 K. So the basket is stamped steel, and these have a rigid polypropylene cone with an EVC technology voice coil. Now these are PIA tweeters with a neodymium magnet, and they do not protrude beyond the mid driver, so there's no chance of them interfering with the factory grill. Retail price, $79. Next, Powerbase's 2XL-653T. 
Now these speakers, along with the JBL, are three ohm speakers versus four ohm speakers. Now that's important, since the impedance or resistance is less, it will drive the amp harder. Now that's whether you're using a separate amp or the internal amp in the stereo, resulting in more power and louder music if your power is on the low side. Other specs include 60 watts RMS, 120 watt peak. Frequency response between 60 Hertz and 20K. Sensitivity on these speakers is 89 decibels. Now this is a rigid tool basket and the construction of the cone is a hybrid four layer paper slash wool blend. These speakers have a rubber surround and a one inch silk dome tweeter. And like the Alpine, the tweeter sticks out slightly. Retail, $89. Next, JBL Club 622. Handles up to 60 watts RMS, 180 watts peak. Frequency response between 48 hertz and 21,000 hertz. Sensitivity is 93 decibels, and as mentioned, three ohms. These have a polypropylene cone with their patented plus one design that has more cone area and higher sensitivity, which may make up for the bass response lost due to the higher sensitivity rating. And an edge-driven silk dome tweeter, which delivers a broader and smoother high frequency response. The tweeters also have a selectable zero or three dB level by tapping this button which is unique to the speakers that we're comparing today. And the tweeter does have an angle upward, but it does not swivel. And it does stick out slightly on the bottom. And these speakers cost $99. And last, but certainly not least, Memphis's PRX602. Now these are the most popular speaker Memphis has in their lineup. These are two-way speakers that handle up to 50 watts RMS, 100 watts peak. Frequency response between 100 Hertz and 20K. Sensitivity is 88 dB at one watt, one meter. Now the construction property include a polypropylene cone along with a polyurethane surround. A pivoting piodone tweeter that has a better range of motion than Alpine's. And the tweeter sticks out less than a quarter inch. Now these are our top selling six and a half inch coaxials because of their sound quality and they work really good with or without an amp. Retail price, $99. Okay, so let's take these speakers, head to the display, and check these things out. Okay, so we're in the sound room, and we're gonna test these speakers with everything being equal. The radio that we're running is a CDE-175BT made by Alpine. The amplifier is a Hertz HCP4, which is 65 watts times four at four ohms, and 95 watts at two ohms. I have no crossover settings on the amplifier, the radio, bass, bid, and treble is set at zero. Now, if you're interested in how these sound, we recommend using a good set of over-the-ear headphones to listen to this section in order to distinguish the difference between them. Also, in the description, we'll put a table of contents that will have each speaker's start time so you can A-B them yourself. So first up, Alpine's S-S65. These are 80 watts RMS, 240 watts peak on the sensitivity, 88 dB at one watt, one meter. Let's see what this does on our actual meter. I'm gonna take this thing up to just under distortion to see how loud they'll play. All right, so without the app, we're at 97.8 decibels, decent mid bass. The tweeter is nice and smooth, not really bright. So let's go ahead and fire this thing off with the amplifier. All right, so we got this thing up to 101.2. The mid bass is actually pretty impressive with the amplifier. So good all run speaker if you like good mid bass and not too bright on the tweeter. That soft dome tweeter for the Alpine is excellent. This will be a great choice if you like a smoother sounding tweeter. Okay, next up, Kickers SCS67. 100 watts RMS, 300 watts peak. These are 90 dB on the sensitivity at one watt one meter, let's check these out without the amplifier.
Okay, so we got 99.4 on the DB meter. These definitely have a much brighter tweeter compared to the Alpine, but they seem to be more efficient off the power of the radio because the Alpines came in at 97.8. Okay, now let's check it out with an amplifier. Okay, so we got 102.1 with the amplifier. The Alpines were 101.2. So we have just about a dB difference between the two. Again, tweeter is pretty bright. So if you like bright tweeters, then these might be a set for you. These are Kickers SCS 67s. Okay, next up, Powerbase 2XL-653T. These are 60 watts RMS, 120 watts peak on the sensitivity, 89 dB. Okay, let's check it out without an app. All right, so these edged out the kickers at 99.9 .9 without the amplifier. Actually really good mid bass. The tweeter is bright, but not too harsh. So really good sounding speaker all together. Okay, let's check it out with the amp. Okay, so we got 103.1 on the DB meter with the amplifier. Adding the amplifier definitely brings up the tweeter. These are silk domes, so that's kind of surprising that they're as bright as they are, but they're not super harsh. So it's a nice good balance between the mid-range and the tweeter. Up next, JBL's Club 622. 60 watts RMS, 180 watts peak. These came in at the highest sensitivity at 93 db so let's see if we do sacrifice bass because it has a higher sensitivity rating first off without the amp Okay, so this came in at 99.1 dB. Not a huge difference, I would say, in the mid bass versus, let's say, the kicker. Uh, against the power bass, I do notice a difference. Also, I do notice a difference against the Alpine as well. As a note, I do have the tweeter sensitivity set to plus three. Now let's check them out with an amp. Okay, so we got 102.3 on the DB meter with the amplifier. The tweeter actually got really bright. So if I was putting these in the vehicle, I would probably set that DB to zero, not the plus three. But altogether, a good sounding speaker. Lacks a little bit on the mid bass. The mid range is good, but there is a noticeable difference in the mid bass, especially with the amplifier. But if you've got a subwoofer, then it might not be that big of a deal for you because your sub will kind of make up that mid bass, but the tweeter is definitely brighter than anything I've heard so far, even the kicker. So if you like those higher frequencies, then the JBLs may be a good fit for you. Okay, last up, Memphis is PRX602s, 50 watts RMS, 100 watt peak. 88 dB on the sensitivity. Again, these are one of our most popular speakers. So let's check them out off the power of the radio, no amplifier. Okay. 
Okay, 99.4, that's tied with the kicker. I really like the way this tweeter plays. It's nice and bright, not super harsh, but it's got a good amount of mid bass, so a nice balanced speaker. Okay, let's check it out with an app. All right, so we got 104.5, that's by far the loudest of the bunch. Probably the reason why these are such a popular speaker at that $99 level. Okay, again, these are Memphis PRX 602s. All these speakers are great, especially for the price point. Now, I've been doing this a long time, and when demoing speakers to clients, I found that people's preferences for sound varies in the same way that everything else in life varies. That's why we decided to measure volume along with my commentary so that you're able to take that information into consideration when buying speakers. All these speakers can be purchased on our website. There are links in the description below taking you directly to each product page. Also, every speaker reviewed has a full line with different sizes ranging from three and a half all the way up to six by nines. So if six and a halves don't fit your vehicle and you're interested in a certain brand, we will also leave links in the description below for each speaker size for each brand. Okay, if you like this video or found it useful, go ahead and hit that like button and consider subscribing to our channel. We are consistently putting out videos like this to help you make decisions when it comes to designing your perfect car stereo system. Again, my name is Josh. I'm with Breakers Stereo. Thanks for watching.